<laughs> that actually fits very nicely and it's not even looking too shabby and yeah what can I say this is where my metabo um, not shop work but you know what I mean um, dust extraction is going to go I want to keep the hoses short such that we have the most sucking power of it all such that it sucks really got them bad and now let's see if this hose fits it should in a normal case fit very well. I'm just gonna put it into here. And that should do the trick. Um, yeah. That's that's basically it. Oh, nice. There's still one very big dust extraction problem that I have, namely with my CNC. The hose that I bought, the external hose, is very long and it really does a really good job. I really like this hose and it actually also fits onto my test tool tools. But <laughs> nothing is, if I attach this very thick hose to the Metabo dust extractor at first and then this thin hose, it has not very much um, yeah, suction power. That's, that's a huge problem. That's a huge problem with me. And so I need to find a fix for that and I think the fix is once again this one right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to attach it to this part once again by the same means that I did before. And yeah, other than that, I'm going to then put the tiny hose into this one and I hope it's going to fix the suction problem. Let's go. I mean, that's certainly something, <laughs> and I think it should actually do the trick. That's definitely a bit better, but we'll see um, how it works out over time. But what I like is that I can easily attach it. And if I don't need it here, I can, well, just use this dust extractor and bring it to a different part of my workshop. So that works out, I suppose.
So excited. I bought this one um, during Black Friday, you could say it was 60 bucks off. That's the ultimate flush trim bit by Whiteside. And I'm so excited to use it for the first time round. This bit is the reason why I bought this Fest tool router in the first place. So let's try it out, shall we? So excited about how this one is going to perform. Moment of truth, does it fit in? Basically, yes. Whoa, it didn't, it broke. Okay, that's not good. That sucks. <laughs> Holy shit, how is that even possible? How can it still be shy of the truth fit? God damn it. There was such a tremendous pain in the butt because I made it very, very difficult on me. I should have just used, I don't know, like a straight piece of wood and just used my router to cut everything out. It was absolutely terrible, but now I got it done. Um, this took way longer than it should. My, <laughs> my basin is still broken, but never mind, I'm going to get a new one, but now it fits in very nicely and I can still take it out whenever I want and now I am satisfied with what I've got for now. The next thing to do is to use my router once again and to put a place in where my, um, where my sharpening stones are going to go. Um, such that I can just put it in here, it's going to fit nicely and it's not going to wiggle around while I sharpen things. Also I'm going to use um, ship slack, so lacquer you are going to use for, for the ship. Um, such that this one right here won't get soiled with water and it's going to start living again. Uh, yeah, this water is planned next. Let's go, I suppose. Actually, let's scratch that idea for now. Reason for that is that my diamond sharpening stones already have rubber feet here. So they are not going to slide around. And also my other stones that I got, um, my ceramic stones also have a bamboo plate under it. Um, where you can put them in and this also has a rubber plate attached to it. So there's no need for me to go through such a hassle at this very moment, especially when, when I'm already rather frustrated with <laughs> my contraction here. So I'm just going to use the lacquer now and give it its final finish and that's going to work out for now as the place where I'm going to sharpen my chisels from now on.